look, you can see the video from Winooski here where some cars really struggled with the hills on both sides of the city's traffic circle. A number of vehicles fishtailed the way up. Others just didn't even have traction, so they bailed and found an alternate route. Now, NBC5's Renee Wonderlick is live in Colchester with a look at the road conditions right now. How you doing out there? Cold and uh, at least I hope you're staying warm. It's not that not that cold, right? It's not too bad, Jennifer. It's funny, too, because the snow, it has not stopped all the way from noon today. It just keeps coming down. But fortunately, the winds, they aren't picking up too badly. If you take a look behind me, the roads, they are covered. But that's not for lack of trying by all the crews across our region trying to keep them clear. I spoke to uh, some of them earlier today. Take a look. This is like the most snow we've had in almost two years in, in one storm. Constant snow flurries across the Green Mountain State, keeping the Vermont Agency of Transportation very busy. We got all the crews out. They're plowing, salting the roads where needed. But some roads are still slick, and air travel isn't much better, with several flights to and from Burlington International Airport canceled. Visibility is something that's very hard to overcome. We're also heavily impacted uh, by other airports, um, what kind of weather they see and how that impacts flights, cancellations and delays. Delta, American and United canceled flights scheduled to arrive on Sunday in Burlington from Washington, D.C., New York and Chicago, among others. But airport staff say they don't think this particular storm will set them back. We prepare for storms all the time and it's uh, kind of business as usual here in Vermont. It's the same story out on the streets. However, Snowy VTran says they can handle this wintry weather, but they do need your help to stay safe. The best thing the drivers could do when they're out there on the road, if they have to be out there on the road, is let the plows do their job. Move over, slow down, don't try to pass them. Let them get done what they have to do. The safest place to, for them right now is behind the plow in this kind of weather. Well, you heard the man. If you do not have to be out on these roads, please, please stay at home. But if you do have to head out, state police and local police advise you drive very slowly, very carefully. There is not a lot of traction out on these roads. And it's only going to get worse as the night goes on. We're live in Colchester. Renee Wonderlich, NBC5 News.